So let's try this. Let's go and do our trend following with shorts. So we basically want to short the downtrends. Okay, so that's it. And then you can do the make the other changes. Yeah. So as we just said before, right? We we want to have it like the other way around. Like we want to have like the moving average like higher mm -hmm. than our price. Yeah. And then what do we want to do instead of impulse one? We want to set it to minus one because yeah. we have it here that we multiply it with minus the like the in position. And we also need to change this one here to a minus. And yeah. then we also need to, I would say, like change the, the mean average around with the price here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And besides from that, it should be all the same. And then we could say like, maybe like, you know, like here we say exit long. Yeah, exactly. And I we do here. Very like, good. <laughs> exit short. That's that's what yeah. I tried to do, like in the home fund as well, but it was too complex, I guess, for me. So <laughs> also make entry short and and and. Entry oh yeah, long. true. Yeah. Entry short. Entry long. long. Yeah. So before we run this, mm -hmm. I want to just ask you, <laughs> what do you expect to see with the strategy, um, based on what we've already seen? From what we just did previously, what would you expect to see with the strategy? What what do you think is going to happen? So I expect that here we see like the long wins, right? Um, yeah. But then for all the small losses, technically, we we would see again like an increase. <laughs> That's what I'm expecting. Well, <laughs> okay. So you think it's going to be better? Uh, I guess so, yeah. All right, so give it a go and run Okay. It. I mean, it can also be that it interferes with each other and then it's way um, worse, but... I, I, I give you a very good logical explanation for what's going to happen. In mm -hmm. So give, give it a... So, so go, and go okay. ahead and run it. Make profits because we're like, I'd say, doing the long runs with it. I mean, we're still seeing kind of the long runs, but um, with the shorts, um, it's, it's somehow interfering with it. Yeah, let me tell you, let me tell you, it's a really mm -hmm. interesting one, actually. You remember, we did the, we did the um, long strategy, right? And then we did the buy the dip strategy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the buy the dip strategy was also a long strategy, but it was reversed. Now, mm -hmm. think about what you just built here is effectively buy the dip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you go short instead of long. But buy the dip made money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Buy the dip oh, made, yeah. actually made True. money. So so now you're you're going, oh I do buy the dip, but I go short. I, I oh I'm going to lose money. And how weird, huh? Isn't that interesting? That's that's yeah, true. I mean yeah. Could we technically combine the the two we had before so that we're saying like um kind well, of well if you do this you end up just with the going long only the s p 500 <laughs> it's mm -hmm. not not exactly an interesting strategy okay yeah true uh, but but what yeah, could okay. we do so 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 clearly <laughs> you see see when you do buy the dip right mm -hmm. you're basically going through and you can see that, that, that there's these massive down dips okay mm -hmm. So somehow it does it does make sense to go short. Mm -hmm. But but where is the problem? Where is the big problem here? We don't know when it's the shortest kind of. No. no. The problem is when we exit because look we enter at this point, right? Mm -hmm. But then if we exit, we're basically not making mm -hmm. any money. We're actually yeah. losing yeah. money. True. Yeah. So mm. to use the moving average as an exit for our shorts is generally not such a good idea mm -hmm. if we have these buy the dip scenarios. Yeah. So maybe we should have something else. So it works, for example, here, right? Mm -hmm. In the bear market, but it mm -hmm. doesn't really work here. And all right. 
And that was, I think, the interesting thing because also with the, the longs, right? Before you said that it works in an uptrends market, like in a, in a bull market, but mm -hmm. not in a bear market. Yeah. So then yeah. it depends. Oh, okay, I see. Nice. Hmm. So what can we do to make this a, maybe a little bit better? Now, I'm not so sure myself, but I mm -hmm. have an idea. Any ideas what we could do? Because, see, see, the problem is the exits, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When we do the exit at the moving average cross, it, you know, that our buy the dip is basically um, like we're losing money. Mm -hmm. So I I show you what we can do. Okay. With yeah. the shorts. So what we could do is this: we could say something like, um, we actually use this one here. This, yeah, mm -hmm. is so. So this is basically. If our win is larger than to set to say one percent or two percent, mm -hmm. so instead of using a soft exit, we're actually using a hard exit. We're saying, well, if it drops below this, we're exiting. Mm -hmm. But we also should have uh, this other condition because sometimes we never hit the two percent, mm -hmm. and then um, mm. we need this exit as well. You know, because if we only do the two percent. Mm -hmm. And it never hits it, you know. It might go, it might go just under two percent, come back, mm -hmm. and then go up and up and up and up, and we're yeah. losing unbelievable yeah. amounts of money, right? <laughs> yeah. That that's terrible. So so we definitely don't want to do that. Yeah. And so we should also have the other condition in there, mm -hmm. just in case when it reverses, it still gives us a way out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We may not make money. We probably lose money. But mm -hmm. it gives us a way out. Mm 